Welcome back to MGD 111. Today we're going to look at the erase tool. Now we looked at the brush tool a little while ago. Um, you should find a uh, tool down here that looks like a brick. That's actually the eraser tool. Uh, there's a couple options under here, the background eraser and the magic eraser. We're not going to concern ourselves with those right now. We're going to use the eraser tool. So it works similar to how the brush tool works in that uh, when we select it, uh, we get the same kind of brush options that we had um, for our brush. So I can choose a size, uh, I could choose the hardness of it, I can also make it a chisel point, I can tilt that chisel point, etc. So I'm just going to go with a 96.0 uh, hardness brush for now. I'm going to click here and I'm going to start uh, drawing with it. And, huh, what's this green? Well, if you look at my tools over here, it's my background color. So what it's doing is it's erasing the picture and showing the background color. Now, the difference between using the brush and the eraser at this point isn't terribly different. Um, in effect, we're just kind of replacing some of the pixels with other things. Now, once we move into layers, though, uh, these are going to become incredibly important. Uh, when we use the erase tool on a layer, it will erase uh, what's on that one layer and not erase to the background color, but erase to what was behind that part of the image. Again, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I just want to show you how that worked. I'm going to click undo here. Uh, a couple more features that we didn't cover in the brush while we're in here. Um, we have several things here. We have this mode. I'm not going to worry about that. You can make it pencil, pen, block, uh, whatever. Uh, stick with brush. Uh, but the opacity is a very important thing. Uh, opacity, notice as I brush uh, over it, it's a very dark, solid green, except for the edges, because it has that soft edge. Let's do undo now. Let's change our opacity, and if I click it, I can either use this slider, or I can punch in a number. I'm going to change the opacity to 40, and watch what happens when I erase. Notice, we can still see through. So it's not erasing the entire thing. It's only erasing about 40% of the image. Now the brush can do exactly the same thing. We can change the opacity of the brush to a certain percentage, and as you brush over it, it only gets rid of part of what's behind it. Now that's a really important thing, because sometimes you just want to be able to do a subtle little change in something. Uh, so the opacity uh, does that. Um, another feature that I want to show you here, let me go back in my history here, uh, and this works well with the brush and with the uh, oops, uh, with the eraser. Uh, I'm going to change the brush to a harder brush so you can see this better. Uh, if I click somewhere and hold down the shift key and click again, it makes a straight line from one point to the next. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, we have to be a little bit concerned with it because if we look really close, we can kind of see there's a little bit of a doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, a little bit of an undulation there. It's making dot 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 dot. It's not making one strong whoosh, whooshing uh, motion there. So we need to be a little bit careful with how we use that. Uh, but the, uh, the brush tool and the erase tool can be really handy when we do that. You might have also noticed, it might be hard to see, but right in here, I did my initial dot. And then when I did a, uh, when I held down the shift key and hit the other one, it erased double right in that spot. Um, so we have to be a little bit careful with that. But if we're using our uh, opacity at 100 percent, and we hold it down, it'll do that. We can continue to hold it down and continue to draw in straight lines. Now you can see again that it kind of has that rough edge around it. Uh, depending on the size of the brush that you use, it's a little less obvious from time to time. Um, so that's kind of a neat feature uh, that we can use with our brush. Um, and that concludes what I wanted to show you regarding the eraser. Thank you. I thought I had one more thing, but nah, let's move on.